And Chicago City Council met for this fiery special meeting today addressing a resolution supporting Israel. After more than three hours, the council voted in favor of the controversial proposal. WGN's Jewel Hillary joining us live from City Hall tonight with details on that. Jewel. Hi, Mike and Ray. This afternoon's meeting brought out a huge crowd and became extremely intense as people for and against this new resolution voiced their views. Friday special city council meeting to discuss 50th Ward Alderwoman Deborah Silverstein's Israel Solidarity Resolution got heated quickly. While reading her resolution and sharing comments, Alderwoman Silverstein, the only Jewish Chicago council person, was blasted by many opposed to her proposal. I want to be clear, the current conflict and this resolution is not about Israel and Palestine. It is not about one military. After numerous disruptions, Mayor Brandon Johnson cleared the public from the second floor chamber. Sorry, Sergeant at arms, please clear. Those in the upper chambers can remain. Israel's military has ordered hundreds of thousands of civilians living in Gaza City to evacuate ahead of a feared Israel ground offensive. Suffering in Gaza has been rising dramatically with Palestinians desperate for food, fuel and medicine. Many in opposition to Alderwoman Silverstein's resolution say it does not address the root cause of the decades long Israeli Palestinian conflict. This resolution does not address the suffering of the Palestinian people and their demands for liberation. As occupied people, we stand here in support of Alderman Deborah Silverstein's resolution that asks this council to condemn the massacre of Israeli civilians and recognizes the right of Israel, a sovereign nation, to defend its citizens and uphold the value of democracy. I've read it now 30 times during this meeting to make sure I haven't read it wrong. Nowhere in this resolution uh, are we condemning the Palestinian people. Just before the vote, Alderwoman Rosanna Rodriguez Sanchez, who attended the meeting remotely, made her position clear. All those Mr. President, I would like to be recorded as a no. Okay. All those in favor of supporting this resolution signify yes. by saying aye. aye. Rabbi Brant Rosen says the council needs to understand the deep systemic oppression of Palestinian people and that this resolution should be a voice of justice for both sides. A we stand with Israel resolution is not the voice that is called for. That is not the message we want the Chicago City Council to be sending out because that is tantamount to taking sides in a terrible, terrible tragedy. And as mayor, someone who has been raised in the bosom of the church, I will continue to fight for liberation for every single person. Now, once the mayor cleared out the second floor chamber, ralliers continued to voice their opinions on the first floor of City Hall. Reporting live in the loop tonight near City Hall, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.